For Comedy Hive News, I'm John Ava. Fans of Monique are letting the Oscar winner know that Chelsea Handler may have been making fun of her instead of validating her experiences that Kevin Hart went against his word when trying to help both of them. On Monday, Monique will share a clip from Kevin Hart's Mark Twain ceremony where Handler roasted Hart by saying he promised her a role in his next project, only to never hear from him again. And here's how great Kevin is. He said, no problem, Chelsea, I got you. I'll just get you a gig on my movie. I said, great. He said he'd even help me fill out the paperwork. I was so excited. He said, I got you, Chelsea. I got you. And that's when I learned that if you ask Kevin for a favor, you can always count on hearing these three words. I got you. And then you can count on never hearing from him again. Now, Monique would attempt to use this clip from Handler as confirmation that Kevin Hart didn't keep his word with either woman. Monique wrote a caption that read, Hey, my sweet babies, what are the odds that both Chelsea Handler and I will share the same experience with Kevin Hart, but we're both lying, huh? Now, this would be in reference towards Monique's interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay, where she would reveal that Hart promised to help executive produce a project for her. I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. He said, I'll executive produce. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol and we're trying to get our talk show back. Whatever it is, I got you. He said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication, and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. I've never talked back to Kevin Hart again. When Monique would post the back-to-back -back clips on her social media, fans were quick to point out that Monique may have been the butt of the joke. One user on social media would write, she was making a joke of you. It went over your head, baby. Just delete this. Another social media user would agree and chime in. I think she was being sarcastic. She saw your interview and turned your truth into comedy. While another would laugh and respond, she shaded you and you reposted it. One more comment would say, Monique is so blinded by her emotions that she didn't realize Chelsea was making fun of her, not validating her experience. Poor woman. Eventually, after many of the comments suggested that Chelsea was poking fun at Monique, the Queen of Comedy would edit the caption on her post to add, It has come to my attention that the joke is on me. LOL. Now, the relationship between Kevin and Chelsea Handler goes back to Handler's e-talk show, Chelsea Lately, where Hart made numerous appearances as he was an up-and-coming comedian. Now, shortly after the event, Handler would post a congratulations to Kevin Hart for winning the Mark Twain Prize. She would write, this pretty much sums up my relationship with Kevin Hart, who I helped award the Mark Twain Prize last night. Took one of my babies with me to DC as a favor to Kevin and bumped into some really funny people my Buddha got to take pics with. The nights obviously ended with Kevin and I arguing about how many children he has with Nick Cannon. Congrats, Kevin, who is one person who can always make me laugh. Shut the duck up, Chelsea. Why are you like this? I ended my night the usual way. So what do you guys think of Chelsea Handler's roast towards Monique and Monique's response in misreading the joke? For more news and comedy, be sure to subscribe here to the YouTube channel and check out hypersclub.com right now for more original content. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Opp. What's up, family? It's Symphony Thompson, the official host of the Comedy Hype News show Late Night, and I'm here because I have some extremely exciting news to share. We are officially launching a club. Yep, that's right. And this club is exclusively for our loyal watchers, event goers, and debaters known as Hypers Club. As a member, you will receive access to never release interviews, original content, behind the scenes with myself and our team here, and even access to a community of other hypers who are looking to build. For those in Atlanta, if you are an entrepreneur, podcaster, content creator, or just the one who is looking for a dedicated space to hold your next meeting, then this next part is just for you. You will get free access to events, discounts on merchandise, exclusive content that I mentioned earlier, and access to our creator studio for all your content needs. So, memberships are officially open and you can start by joining hypersclub.com to sign up and become a member of our club. I'm in the club and I hope you join us.